And so that's a basic waterfall mesh that you can create just uh, in Maya. Uh, the next shape I want to show you is a um, sort of vortex pool shape that you can make. Uh, so with that, it's pretty easy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a plane here. I'm going to set the height by 3. I'm going to do the subdivision height by 30. And I'm going to go to Deform, Nonlinear Bend. Just going to set this along the axis here. I'm going to do the curvature of 180. And so you can see there what I did was I just essentially bent this vortex or bent this plane around so it folds into itself in a perfect sphere, as you can see there. I'm going to go ahead and I don't want to uh, shove it or I don't want to move it too much to where um, it starts uh, Z fighting itself. You can see that nasty artifact there. So I'm just going to adjust it. And I also don't want to have that um, sort of donut hole shape in the middle. So I'm just going to get something kind of like that. I'm going to head, go ahead and delete history on that. Center the pivot. I'll put it back to the center here. And then one thing I want to make sure is that I want this outer radius to uh, be at the bottom of the UVs here. So you can actually see the UVs. I need to go ahead and rotate this. And then make it so these UVs cover the entire space here. And then I'm going to select the top UVs uh, and make sure that the top UVs are in the center. So I'm actually going to rotate this uh, 180 degrees. So when I select these top UVs here, they're in the center. The bottom UVs are on the outside here. I'm going to go ahead and export this and just call this water vortex a one. And so with this, if I assign the arrow material to this, you'll see that it has this vortex where it's starting from the center here and radiating out. This is a very powerful um, VFX tool that's used all the time um, in all kinds of effects. But you can see here, if you want something like a uh, bubbling pool or uh, water emitting from where this waterfall is splashing here, this is a really great effect to have. And uh, we can use this vortex for all kinds of different like smoke or magic effects going forward. But it's a very, very simple uh, mesh tool that has really amazing uh, opportunities for it.